Josh! The government is watching you, man. man. I'm watching you. Everyone's watching you. Your phone, people are watching you. Wake up! Wake up. You can't hide from me in there. You can't hide from me in there. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you cannot. You can't hide from me. You can't hide from everyone. No, it's just... What are you doing? You can't run forever. Hey, you. Obviously, please excuse the introduction. I just thought I'd start with a little bit of humour, a little bit of jokes. But today we're talking about surveillance, right? And I just wanted to discuss the fact that, well, look, we are being watched on a daily basis. There's cameras around, data goes out on the internet. There's a camera right in front of me, for goodness sake. I can film myself whenever I want. You know, but I guess I want to talk about how much does it affect us? Do we pay attention to surveillance? Do we pay attention to data that we share? Or are we desensitised to it? There's an incredible array of different information that we put out online. And sometimes we uh, we don't really pay attention, I guess, to how we are being surveyed because it's just a natural part of what we're doing. Let's take my laptop, for example. There's a camera on here that could potentially be hacked up there. I mean, my data that I put out on the internet could potentially be viewed by anyone at any time. As long as I have this laptop on, I'm using the internet, my data is being collected. Gates and Kelly talk about the idea of, of data and, and social surveillance being used as some form of social control. And I guess, do we look at data that way? Do we personally view it as a form of social control? Surveillance and data collection, to me, only become a social control when they're used against you. What happens when our idea of privacy is broken down? We all know that information is collected online, but when there's some things we put on our personal computers or that we put privately, we are hopefully assured that it isn't going to be used against us. We've all got some things we don't want people to see. See what I mean? Uh, there's a lot of things we probably don't want people to see just because it's embarrassing. But I guess that's what we expect. We expect privacy in those kind of things. We don't expect what we put out there to be seen by everyone. But there is a form of surveillance. It is being collected. We have to recognise that. We just want to assume that it's not going to be used for things that demean us. I mean, we've come to expect surveillance. You know, Futures and Co. argue that since 9-11, surveillance has been normalised, you know. I guess it's become a standard. But let's really find that out. I'm going to interview two people and see what they think about surveillance and what it means to them. What does surveillance mean to you? Well, Jaron, surveillance to me means uh, observation of some kind, maybe via technology, maybe through the human eye. It can vary. Uh, are you afraid of being watched? Both online or offline, or both? Well, offline, I'm certainly worried about um, being surveyed. Uh, online, well, I'm even probably more worried about being surveyed. Hmm. And uh, last question, are you concerned about what kind of data is being gathered by governments or organisations of any kind? Well, I think uh, government uh, analysis of the populations via surveillance is needed for some circumstances but they probably might overstep the mark uh, for a few things probably privacy infringement uh, things like that all right thanks for your time you're welcome what does surveillance mean to you well i think of people watching you in a variety of ways cctv or getting online malware or something like that or spying on you in some way or other just generally finding out what you're doing. Yeah, okay, and second question, are you afraid of being watched both online and or offline? Not particularly, because I'm not doing anything wrong, but uh, it does feel a bit funny at times with people knowing what you're doing all the time, but uh, I've got nothing to hide. <laughs> you sure? No. <laughs> third question, are you concerned about what kind of data is being gathered by governments and organisations of any kind? I'm not worried about government necessarily, but I suppose some organisations might gather information about you that they're going to pester you with or utilise in some other way. But again, with nothing particularly sinister going on in my life, I have no great concerns, but it does feel sometimes like an intrusion. All right, thanks very much. Cheers. Bye. Surveillance means something different to no matter who you ask. 
Josh didn't like the idea of being watched, but he understood that data collection perhaps is, is a necessary thing, it's for safety. My grandfather, however, didn't mind, wasn't as concerned, maybe more on the commercial side he was concerned. To me, it's the same thing, I don't feel like I need to be watched. Yet, there's some things that are private and I don't want people to see, I do embarrassing things, it happens. Trotter argues that there's this idea of walls being a form of privacy, that the home is the sanctuary in the end, online that doesn't exist. We need to try and find a way that we can ensure that, even though data is collected, it's not used against us and some things remain private in our lives.